Hello everyone. Good afternoon from Pakistan and uh, good morning or good evening to all those who are in different time zones. Uh, thank you for joining me for this webinar on introduction to advanced financial analytics with Power BI. I welcome you all to this first webinar by Kaizen Analytics LLP. This is Mohammad Kashif. Uh, just a few things before we get started with the actual content of the webinar. We have already emailed the database file to all the participants who have registered with us. For those who didn't find time to register with us, simply shoot us an email and we would love to share the participants material, which comprises of three things, um, database file, part, uh, this presentation and participants manual. It is uh, a step-by-step -step guide uh, around 40 page for everything which we will be doing in this webinar. So we will leave the email address in the description of this video. Uh, you must have many questions, so do leave them in the chat and uh, my team will be trying to answer them on the spot or just shoot us an email and we will respond to you shortly. So um, a brief intro of myself. Um, I'm a member of Institute of Cost and Management Accounts of Pakistan since uh, 2005. Um, worked almost in uh, quite every relevant field in finance from bookkeeping to corporate finance uh, from basic financial analysis to advanced analysis to financial modeling and feasibility um, data analytics data visualization business process analysis capacity building right from training need assessment development of uh, curriculum actual delivery of the training post training activities like on job training in this uh, in the last assignment uh, i did work with international development partners like i worked in two projects of world bank two projects of adb and one project of jica i'm also a co-founder of kaizen analytics llp it is a limited liability partnership firm registered with security and exchange commission of pakistan we are primarily management consultancy firm and our focus areas are um, emerging technologies, business intelligence, blockchain, advanced analytics, and we will also providing capacity building activities. So this is kind of a brief intro of me and, and, and the firm. Uh, I'm leaving the LinkedIn and uh, uh, Facebook um, links if, if you want to follow us or you can email us. I'm also leaving my email account. So. Uh, the today's webinar is divided in three sections. The first section is why advanced analytics for finance. So um, if we can categorize it as business intelligence. So we'll discuss this first. The second section is the case study of a demo data set. We have already emailed and we'll be, we will be working on this one. We're creating income statement, balance sheet and some amazing analytics uh, using DAX language. And the third section is a way forward in advanced financial analytics. So we'll start with the first section, why advanced analytics for finance or simply why business intelligence for finance. I will just pause for a minute. If, if you can write in the comment box, uh, how you can define business intelligence. So I'll, I'll wait for around one minute and we'll start our webinar then. Just, just uh, write what you uh, understand about business intelligence. So um, let's discuss it. Uh, business intelligence is, uh, is not a new concept, it is especially for, for finance and business professionals. We are using it from the day one and in one way or another. 
so uh, the thing is now we have more advanced softwares available with us with which require minimum kind of an IT background to extract insights for from data and this is just the beginning uh, as business decisions uh, will be based on the facts that uh, what is the problem and how we can solve the problem using the data we have and and in the process we'll be making data driven business decisions so uh, simply business intelligence is a set of techniques and tools so they, it is it is not only tools it is techniques as well and it is a, we extract raw data from various sources we uh, drive meaningful analysis we do meaningful analysis uh, uh, and uh, we develop some easy to understand visualizations for better decision making so uh, we are all using excel and uh, still it is the most used software by a financing business professional it will remain to be uh, the uh, the key software but uh, there are some specific tools which are uh, designed for business analytics and they have some amazing uh, inbuilt uh, features of advanced analytics uh, like um, artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities to work with. If we can discuss some of the tools, they are uh, right at top. Uh, Microsoft has one tool which is uh, known as Power BI and we will be working on Power BI in this webinar. Um, Tableau has one of the tools, then Click has one of the tools, MicroStrategy and others. So there are quite a number of tools and from Microsoft. It is the 13th consecutive year that uh, they are recognized as Magic Quadrant Leader in Business Intelligence platform. Before moving forward, it is important to analyze a big picture of uh, what may be the possible uh, future of finance. So you must have heard about uh, various terms which are coined by um, management consultancy firms and uh, some uh, renowned institutes. Uh, like uh, Digital Financial Transformation by Deloitte, uh, um, PwC has their own term, KPMG, EY, um, and CMI, CWAE, CFA. So uh, what are these terms and how we can just categorize them into a simpler form? It is kind of a finance business partnering in a digital world and you must have heard the term about finance business partner the, the involvement of finance professionals in, in decision making is is uh, and strategic development and driving um, performance is not new but as we as the business are evolving so the finance professional will have to evolve accordingly uh, they have to acquire necessary skills which uh, may be broadly categorized into say uh, two sets like there are some necessary skills uh, which which are not relevant to finance but all the professions across the globe like complex problem solving critical thinking creativity people management emotional intelligence and many more but there are some technological uh, related skills as well like storytelling data analytics and data visualization so we'll be focusing on this uh, technology related skills um, knowledge of emerging technologies uh, is important because by then you may analyze which emerging technology can be used in which of the business process to enhance the business operations and add value in return uh, real-time information and decision making is becoming norm and finance have to keep up with uh, the pace and um, businesses are challenging the role of finance due to advanced analytics. Finance professionals do have finance data, but finance data alone will not serve the purpose in this digital age. We need the ability and skill to use both finance and business data for, the, for better decision making. Um, and this change is happening uh, in, in all channels. If, if you can analyze uh, some of the uh, changes in curriculum, so uh, CFA has, has changed their curriculum. Uh, if you can see 
CFA has introduced uh, machine learning in level 2 and big data projects in level 3. And uh, SEMA, is, SEMA is included in their operation level, uh, subject of E1 for uh, managing finance in digital world. Um, audit uh, and finance firms are also embracing the change uh, like P PwC has initiated digital accelerator program and it is not new, it is uh, two years back and uh, they are trying to inculcate the digital skills in, uh, in their almost 50,000 employees. Job market is also changing, it is changing slowly but it is also changing. Um, for instance, BI tools for finance, they are now the, the employers are asking for BI tools for finance. It is not much, but it is there. For instance, uh, I've just searched uh, a few of the examples. And these are uh, month old examples and for financial analysts, they are requiring the working knowledge of BI, Power BI. In another example, there are also uh, for financial analyst revenue, they want the experience of Luca, Tableau, and these are the BI tools. And in a job in Karachi, they are, they are willing to have a prior experience of BI tools like Power BI, Demo, Tableau. So, um, job market is also changing. It is not changing at very high speed, but it is it is changing. I have also uh, included links of some a few of the videos of big picture scenario uh, from Deloitte, PwC, and EY, and you can you can uh, have tons of, uh, of these resources available on YouTube, on Google. So you can search it out and you can have the them and you can review them. So by this, we will conclude our uh, first section, which is why advanced analytics for finance or business intelligence for finance. Uh, we have briefly touched the term of uh, business intelligence. Uh, we have also uh, seen some of the tools which are used in business intelligence. Uh, future of finance and necessary skills and this scenario definitely is changing um, whether it is in curriculum or in job market so we have briefly touched all these topics now it's time to move to our next section and in this section we will use a demo data set we will create an income statement balance sheet and we'll do some basic analytics so um, if you have not yet downloaded Power BI, please download Power BI and install it in your computer or laptops. Uh, we will first analyze the data set and then we will move to Power BI window and we will uh, start creating uh, the income statement balance sheet. So this is the uh, basic uh, data set which uh, we have emailed to all the participants. Um, it's a general ledger, accounts, department, organization, and there is a scenario. So this is a basic general ledger and it has almost kind of around, around 39,000, around 40,000 entries. So it has uh, certain keys which are relevant to chart of account which relates uh, these keys to the accounts, department, and organization. And this accounts uh, worksheet has is it's a kind of chart of account. Uh, there's a department or, um, worksheet and there's organization worksheet and this is a scenario. So we'll work on this data set. So, so this is the uh, window of Power BI. These are uh, these ribbons have uh, general operations over here. There are three views. First is the report view, the second is data, data view and third is model view. There are filters, visualization and fields and we will be touching upon all these things in a brief manner. So let's start it. First, you can connect Power BI to more than 100 data sources. So in our case, we have data in Excel. So we click on Excel, connect it and get the data in Power BI.
check all the worksheets click load So here we have, we have imported all the tables in, in Power BI. Click on this data view, click on this accounts. Now you can see that this uh, chart of account has to be classified into various, uh, various levels because we want, let me show you the ultimate result. So this is the uh, the final uh, product which we will be creating in this webinar. So you can see over here, this is an income analytics. Uh, the income statement is defined is the income statement is properly arranged as per all the levels of the chart of account and figures are also placed appropriately. So we will have to define all these levels in different columns so that we can create this income statement. So let's start it. Uh, we will use parent child function of Power BI. So let's discuss what the parent child function is in uh, DAX function. Uh, this is a DAX uh, data analysis expression reference which uh, we have downloaded from uh, Microsoft website. So you can download it easily. It has it is over 550 pages. Uh, there are all the DAX functions are explained over here. Parent. So let's see. Let's analyze our data as well. So this is the data, and this is the chart of account. We have account key and parent account key. And if you look over here, the parent child function in DAX is as follows. So there is an employee key and parent employee key. This is an employee key and this is parent employee key. So the, the first DAX function which, uh, which defines the parent child uh, relationship uh, in Power BI is a path function. The path function will be using it. Here the employee uh, key is 112 parent key is nothing than 14, 1, 12, 3 and 12. Let's see what this path function will define. It will define the parent keys, uh, employee key is 1, 12. Then this is 0. And employee key is 1, uh, 14. The parent key is um, 1, 12. So 1, 14 belongs to 1, 12. Over here, Employee key is three. Parent employee key is fourteen. So, uh, if if we are working in organization, three is reporting to fourteen, and fourteen is reporting to one twelve in in HR context. Over here, eleven is reporting to three. So eleven is reporting to three. Three is reporting to fourteen, and fourteen is reporting to one twelve. And we will do the same over here. The next one is. Uh, a function which will use it uh, path length it will define the the level of uh, chart of account and then we will define the items so we'll use all of these uh, all of these functions so first let us create a calculated column over here go to this table new column name it as the function path we just want to give the id of the column so id of the column is accounts key we'll use key over here then the parent column name parent column means parent account key so 
तो ये आ रही है पेरेंट पेरेंट अकाउंट की तो लेट्स रिव्यू इट एसेट बिलोंग टू बैलेंस शीट करंट एसेट बिलोंग टू एसेट बिलोंग टू बैलेंस शीट सो इफ यू गो डाउन सो दिस इज इनकम ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट बिलोंग्स टू इनकम ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट विच इज फोर्टी नाइन बिलोंग्स टू ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट विच इज फोर्टी नाइन बिलोंग्स टू फोर्टी सेवन सो नेट इनकम ओवर हेयर नाउ विल यूज अनदर फंक्शन विच इज पाथ लेंथ जस्ट टू डिफाइन how many level of chart of account we have let's name it as path length and just just give the uh, name of the column which is recently calculated Part of count of six level. Now it's important to uh, define the items, which are the items which belong to level one, which belongs to level two, level three. So we will use two functions. One is the lookup, and the second is the path. So let's create a another column. Name it as level one. accounts description because the first one is the result column so we want to return this these text so we'll give account description then the search column item so accounts key is the search column item and then we will use uh return the actual item according to this hierarchy this depth of hierarchy and we will give the uh hierarchical path over here so hierarchical path we want to create the first level and we want to return Has returned balance sheet income statement. Now we'll do the same. Let's copy it. The second formula will be quite little bit different. We'll using the same formula, uh, but there will be one difference. We will. add another function which is if function another function which is if function so let us uh include the if function if this path depth this the hierarchical depth is greater than and equal to 2 then this whole this uh, this formula will work so let's complete it and i will explain it okay so this is path greater than two then look up all these values otherwise then level 1 so let's uh, review it if hierarchical path 
is greater than or equal to 2 then go to this column and this key and search for path item let me see here we want 2 yes return the second item that is why we have used equal to not not greater to if if this if this condition doesn't fulfill then return level 1 so balance sheet will be returned if it does not have the second level so here we have now it's time to just copy this one and just make the appropriate changes so copy this formula create a new column three over here three over here and make it level two so let's give you uh, in this level two here we have assets so it is not returning balance sheet here we have the second one is asset so it is returning assets up to all those where assets exist over here we are going to the third level the third level is current assets so current asset is returned Copy this one and we'll create another one which is five five and we use four over here. And we will create our last column, which is six. Six, six over here, six and it says asset level 3 is current assets level 4 cash and then on this this goes on now we will do the same for say departments so let's uh, complete this one first create the path and rename it as And simply uh, give the column which is newly created. So it has two levels. Now third one. I'm just copy pasting it because this formula is already explained. 
Now we'll go for the next one. This table is also complete. We'll do the organization now. I'll just copy paste the formulas because the formulas are explained. First define the path. Then create a new column. Then define the path length. It has four hierarchy. So it has four hierarchies. Create a new column. For level one. Create a new column for level two. Create a new column for level three. This one is three. So we are done with uh, preparing our basic tables. Now we'll go to this data model. So it has already detected the uh, relationships. So we won't be uh, forming any relationship, but the important thing is to organize all the information in the proper manner. So just place all the lookup table over here. All the information which we will be uh, concluding in this this in this webinar. These are the informations we will be concluding, and this is our fact table which has all the figures, the ledger. So now our data model is kind of a complete. This is a kind of a very simplest form of data model. There are certain complex formats as well, but this webinar is, is uh, for the basics. So therefore we are not touching the um, database which are, uh, which are complex and the models which are complex. Let's go to this report tab and now we will be creating the DAX functions or uh, various calculations like uh, gross profit margin, net profit margin. Before moving forward, let me explain that we have also developed a uh, manual, parchments manual uh, for this webinar. So it is around uh, 40 plus pages and it has all the basic information, step by step guide. Uh, which we are doing over here. If you miss any formula, so don't worry. It has all the details. All the formulas are given over here. And definitely each and every step is given. So don't worry about it if I'm going very fast. So you will receive this um, uh, through our email, this guide. So. First, we will create a, a table for key measures for all the calculations so that all the calculations are at one place. Enter data, name it as key measures load. And the, the table is created over here. Click over here, 
new Meyer, we will calculate our first Meyer, which will be the amounts in the in the ledger amounts column this is the ledger amounts column if you can place over here in a card let's see this is the amount but it is kind of a useless if it is not defined in account in whether it is a budget or an actual or whether it belongs to income or balance sheet so Let's delete this column and just shuffle over here. So you will have a calculator in front of key myers which define that this table has information regarding to this table has information regarding to all the calculations. So let's do the second calculation click over here this is new my year we'll use the function calculate and in power bi uh, i'm using it i think 90 percent of my all the calculations are uh, used by this calculate function it's a very simple function it gives an expression and all the filters are given after those expression it calculates it so uh, we have defined the amount we have already calculated the amount so the amount is placed over here and then we want the uh, various scenarios uh, we, let's look at our data over here there are two scenarios whether it is in actual or it is a budget and this scenario name is linked to this the scenario key this is the scenario key and this is linked to journal ledger over here so that is why we are given this scenario scenario where scenario ledger the amounts which are actuals let's place it in a table I think this is a table and let's grab the dates from this function these are the dates, I think. Slicer. This is kind of a beauty of the intelligence softwares. We'll place a quarter over here. Let's do some formatting, make it horizontal, and now you can have first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. So all the information are dynamic. So this is the uh, intelligence of Power BI where you have all the information over here. Just copy it over here and place the year over here. So now you have years as well. So same 2019 first quarter, second quarter, third and fourth. So you can slice and dice uh, whenever you like. And let's do another calculations we have two actual and amount let's uh, let's do another calculation 
which is I think core calculations for instance um, current current is uh, current ratio let's do it a current ratio click over here before doing the current ratio let's review it current ratio is simply current assets or current liabilities but we have to define the levels which we have uh, created in this webinar level where are current assets and where are current liabilities so let's look at these are accounts and the, this is balance sheet this is the assets now this is current assets current assets belongs to level 3 level 4 it is repeating just so it starts with level 3 so we'll have to define current assets in level 3 and where are current liabilities there is a liability and this is liability the current liability start with level 4 so it belongs to level 4 so we'll have to define it in level 4 let's go over here let's calculate current ratio we'll use the function divide we'll give the denominator but first we would like to calculate it so use the function calculate the actual amount the actual amount the amount in level 3 which is equal to current assets close the parenthesis and let's see now we will calculate actual liabilities in level 4 liabilities were at level 4 and So this is our current ratio for 2019 first quarter for second quarter so if you can see all the information placed in our this this report is changing with the filters so this is kind of very interactive and it is changing all the amounts this is quarter three this is quarter four this is quarter 4 of 2018 this is quarter 4 of 2017 so all the information are dynamic so we will be creating a dynamic uh, report let's do another one current ratio let's review where is so it is uh, cash over simply cash over current liabilities so this is cash is at level 4 and definitely currently liabilities are also at level 4 so copy it and create new myer paste it cash ratio divide 1 to divide level 4 which is which is cash and current liabilities so this are this is also calculated so let's place another card and 
Let's place the cache ratio over here. So this is the cache ratio. You see, we are creating our dashboard as well. Now uh, let's go with that equity ratio. So uh, long term liabilities and Where are long term liabilities? They belong to level 3 liabilities and these are the long term liabilities. And where is owner equity? Owner equity belongs to level 3. So long term liabilities over owner's equity. Let's copy it. Control C. New Meyer that to equity ratio. So um, long term liabilities are Levels three. It was level four, I think. Yes, that belong to level three. Owner safety. So let's calculate the equity ratio. So let's calculate the equity ratio and let's copy this card. Place it over here. <coughs> so this is dynamic. 2019, 2018, 2017. Great. Now we can we can name it as. analytics so now let's move to our next calculations for uh, income statement and uh, let's create previous years uh, and difference between previous year so first we we'll calculate previous year the amounts of previous year power bi has good feature of time intelligence you can calculate uh, in a dynamic version you can calculate the previous month previous day previous week or previous quarter amount uh, with a formula which is uh, with uh, the functions are uh, time intelligence functions we'll use one of them amounts and we'll use the function data add. 
in data we want to give first the we want to go back one year so here you can go back one day one month one quarter one year we will select one year so you can place over here so it is giving you puzzles This is giving you the actual amount but if you can see over here if you can see over here there is no transaction in day one but there is a transaction in previous year so this is giving you the amount of the previous year so now we will calculate another function which is a difference between these two the actual and the previous year actual minus previous year simple let's do some calculations for profit margin so let's review where profit margin is at what level the uh, gross profit and net profit exist to net sales net sales income so where are the net sales Net sales are at level three. Here is net income. This net sale is at level four, and gross margin is at level three. So great. First, we will calculate. gross margin ratio level 4 of accounts and it is equal to Sale exists at fourth level and net income exists at let's see this is revenue and 
it is at level 1 net income is at level 1 create a new measure Divide, calculate actual from level one, which is equal to net income, then the denominator we have calculate actual. And it is equal to net sales for this subject and it goes this way. Okay. This is net sales and we need to this person is zero. Now let's calculate another one operating expenses ratio. Operating expenses, let's see where are the operating expenses. Net sale is at level 4 and operating expenses. Well, these are the operating expenses and operating expenses are at level three these are the operating expenses so this is the operating expense Account level three operating expenses. We need to calculate, calculate actual. This is at we know that income is at level 4 and it is equal to profit and So this one is operating expenses ratio. Now let's move forward by creating income statement. Let's place them over here. this reported title add a text income statement we need this net goal
place this title at the top now let's create the income statement let's choose this matrix over here let's place all the levels over here first second third fourth fifth sixth it is giving all the things so go to this filter level one and choose only income so it is given an income now we will place the uh, the amounts so let's select the amounts the first one is actual then previous year and then difference between previous year so this is level two over here and can expand it so we have created the income statement and this is dynamic if you can see this is 2017 2018 2019 2019 first quarter second quarter and third let's choose uh, another visualization for income statement let's choose this line and cluster column chart Let's place to uh, use it in monthly basis. Let's place month over here. We want account type and we want the actual amount. Go to this filter and filter it with expenses, expenditure, and revenue. So you can see all the expenditure and revenues over here so if you can see over here this is giving you the expenditure and incomes of a uh, monthly basis for instance in 2017 and let's uh, see the power of uh, uh, power bi uh, as i have mentioned earlier uh, these tools have advanced analytics and machine learning inbuilt so if you can just click over here there is a decrease in expenses there is a decrease in revenues click over here go to this analyze and explain the decrease so it will explain it yes us operate operations and canadian division accounted for majority of decrease in uh, in level 3 the relative contribution made by Australia, US and Germany changed the most. So this is a decrease. Germany has increased in this month, but, but France, operation in France, Australia, Canada and you know, USA is decreasing. So it will generate various charts for you. And if you like the charts, just click on this plus button and here you have it. These charts will be here. So you can place it ever here. Let's delete it and let's place another slicer. I forgot to place the organization slicer. Yeah, this one. The organization slicer. Organization name. Make it drop down. You can place it anywhere it is important for the visualization perspective that it is placed on right direction it is important it is important for a visualization purpose that is placed properly but you can place it in any section so this is Australia so this is Australia for you all the actuals all the differences 
for 2000 say there is no oppression there is an oppression in this one this is first quarter second quarter third quarter so you can review your oppressions in Australia in say Germany the gross profit is uh, Germany is 64 net net profit ratio is 22 oppression ratio is 36 uh, this is in 2019 first quarter this is in second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter and you can slice and dice whatever you like and you can slice and dice according to your needs so this is the uh, first report which we are creating we'll go to our next report this one delete this over here just we'll copy the visuals from from our first report so it is kind of a simple one let's copy this visual control c control v now we'll copy this one over here and you can say it as And let's go to filter. This is level one. And let's choose balance sheet over income statement. So we have balance sheet with us. All the current assets, other assets, PPEs, then there is liabilities, there is owner equity. Uh, select line cluster column chart account type this is a column then we can choose months over here and actuals over here and account type we can choose anything I think asserts flows which was liabilities so these are the liabilities so why our liabilities are decreasing analyze the decrease other current liability and long term liability account for the major majority of decrease among level 5 offsetting the increase of other retirement benefits and accrued expenses so this is the reason of increase and this is the reason of decrease current liabilities and all those and you can uh, you can just import this one if you like this visual in your report so we can see over here let's uh, analyze the information in 2019 in the first quarter these are our major ratios and these are the position of liabilities this is the position in second quarter this is the position is third quarter fourth quarter and this is for germany division this is over here for say us operations Nothing is over here so, and do Pacific operations. Nothing Germany, France. Yes, there's information for Germany, France. So, this is the information of France. Uh, this is kind of a uh, very introduction to advanced financial analytics in Power BI. This is kind of an introduction, and uh, with this one, we conclude our uh, second section.
Now we uh, move to our next uh, section which is way forward in advanced analytics and the details. Soon we will be announcing a detailed course on advanced financial analytics. It, it will not be on financial reporting. Uh, we will create income statement, balance sheet and cash flows but it, it will be more than this one. We will have the aging, aged uh, trial balance covered in uh, this section. We will cover revenue analytics, sales analytics like customers, details, analytics, sales person analytics and let me show you uh, the, the output of the course which we have developed and we will be announcing it. Uh, sooner. So we will be working on uh, a detailed course on advanced financial analytics along with the uh, financial reporting where you can you have different data set and it, it is much more in detail. There is uh, much more going in as far as data table is concerned there are much more tables there are, there are quite a number of formulas which we will be calculating in account receivable and all these tables are for key my years. So you can slice and dice and do all the calculations which you can do it. And having said that this is an income statement analytics, then this is the balance sheet analytics, this, this is cash flows and this is age trial balance and you can you can have your customer names according to your customer names you can select any dynamic period it can be in the age of 1 to 30 days it can be for a customer so, so all this will be uh, created in a step by step manner in our detail course and it will be member only course this is not uh, only which we have covered we will be covering in in that course we'll be covering much more in that course like like we will be covering product insight where you can slice and dice and review all the products with top customers year near sale growths and this is all dynamic. Then there is customer analytics. You can form a cluster and and you can do all the necessary informations, whether it is profit growth year on year, sales growth year on year, year, on year and profit margin growth year, year on year. Then salesperson analytics, top salesperson and the growth of salesperson. So how the salespersons are uh, generating income and what is their effect. So these are the two detailed things which we will be doing in our uh, in our detail course and we will announce this detail course uh, in our uh, in, in coming weeks. Uh, so we conclude our webinar for today. I hope uh, you have liked our webinar and you have learned a lot. For uh, those uh, who are watching it later on and who want this data set and all the participants manual. So just uh, email us and we will uh, send you all the documents. Thank you all for watching this webinar and bye from now.